Hey there, today we're going to show you guys how to find a picture for your quadruped project. So, first of all, if you can't think of anything that you want to use, a four-legged animal that you want to use, I'd recommend that you start off by googling list of animals. And look at this first result that pops up, all, an, all animal list A to Z. This one has a really good list of animals, so just scroll through here. And if you can't think of anything, I'm sure you'll find something there real quick. So let's say that I go through and I stop at a cow, and I decide, you know what, I think I'm gonna, I want to do a cow for my quadruped. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up a browser and going to search. So for me, I'm going to search cow line drawing. So whatever you want to do, just type line drawing after it. Go to images. Now, not everything's going to work. Even if it is a line drawing, you have to have certain ones that work better than others. This one, for example, looks good, except the cow's looking at us. We don't want that. We want the cow looking straight ahead, and we want a side view from as close to the side as possible. Here's another one. This one would probably work just fine. This one wouldn't work, even though it's a, kind of a cartoon. This cow's looking at us. Remember, the cow needs to be looking straight ahead. This would be an example of one that eh, probably wouldn't work either. The cow's looking at us, and it's missing some important details on the face. This one would work just mm, pretty close. This cow's kind of looking at us. You know, this one's a really good drawing. I think I'm going to use that. It's borderline on too dark. i got to be careful that I can still see the pencil when I um, draw my uh, shapes over the top. But this one will work. So what you're going to do as soon as you're ready and you found one that you like and that works for the assignment, you're going to go to View Image. And you need to click that to get this on the screen with nothing by it, just black on the sides. Then you're going to right click and Save Image As. And you're going to navigate until you get into the Turn In folder for your class. So let's just pretend I'm in third period. I'm going to go to J.A. Woodchick. I'll go down and find the Turn In folder and then go to third period. And then I don't want it named, this is really important. In order for me to grade it and know whose it belongs to and print it out and have your name on it, you need to type your name in here before you save it. See, right now it's named the same thing it was named on the internet. I'm gonna change that to my first and last name. And then cow. And then I'm gonna press save. Now that you've done that, I can print it for you. So if you are just turning this in with the rest of the class, you have to wait until I give it to your class. Uh, if you are kind of a little bit behind in getting caught up with this video, just come and tell the teacher, and once uh, I see it in the folder, I can print it for you. Hey, thanks.